Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to DF reading for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four powerful decks of cards today to connect with your twin. To see what they want you to know. I feel they may be struggling to get the words out today. So they want to express something to you in this message that will really make sense and resonate with you. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So the decks we're going to use, we're going to use the Realms Mercury Edition 2. This is a great deck by Lorraine Roji Tarot. So what do the Masculines want to say to you today? What do they want you to know? So we've got cards flying out of the deck. Again, we've got these two cards here. And then we've got clarifying cards. So I'm going to put them separate there. I'm going to bring in my deck, the Divine Masculine Dark Truths Come to Light Oracle. So let's bring in an energy around what they want you to know. What they want to bring up from... The depths and, you know, the dark depths of their soul. What do they want to say? So I've got two cards coming out there. I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Power Messages by me. So we're going to see what guidance and what action, you know, they are being guided to take. What the angels are guiding them to do and know. So I've got a few cards coming out from that deck there. And then I'm going to bring in some tarot. I'm going to use the Angel Tarot by Jane Wallace. So what do the Masculines want to say to you today? Jump straight out. Wow. Okay, let's do this. So the masculine is saying, you make me want to change for the better. Look at this, because I love you. I love you. So a big message, big bold statement coming out there today. I love you. Now there is extra cards as well from that deck that I'm going to do at the end. So I feel these could be about things that they're going through that may be stopping them from taking action or things they're healing right now. But they definitely love you and they are letting you know that today. And because of your love and the power of it, you make me want to change for the better divine family. So he's saying, I want to change for the better of who I am. I want to be a better version of myself. I want to be a person that you can be proud of. And you make me want to change and be that person because of the love I feel for you. And I love you and I'm so grateful for you. And because I love you, I promise to love you. For the rest of my life. This is my promise to you. Isn't that beautiful? So the masculine is saying. I want to change for the better. I want to change to be the right kind of person for you. And for our love and our life together. And I promise to love you for the rest of my life. This is my promise to you. So when you receive a promise from your twin. You may also get a very bold sign in the physical world. So you may see a stag. You know a lot of you do see stags in your physical world. But you may also see them in your virtual world. So you may see a stag in social media. You may see a stag on a film. You may see a stag, you know, on some kind of, you know, physical thing like a mug or a picture. Or, you know, when me and George went on holiday, we went into um, a restaurant and the table we were sitting at was facing the bar. And behind the bar, there was an ice box, and the ice box had got a big stag on it. And I shared that on the community post at the time. So you get shown in various ways and various signs that they promise to love you for the rest of their life. Isn't that beautiful? And, you know, your sign may not be a stag. It could be something that's really personal to your journey. Something that makes you stand up and think and go, wow, this is real. So you might think, well, I don't want to just see the stag. I want to see something personal. And they will show you in a way that really makes you realize and know that this love is real. So your masculine is saying, you make me want to be a better person. You make me want to change for the better. Your love has shown me that, that I can be that person I've come here to be. And I promise to love you for the rest of my life. So the rest of your life together is going to be the best of your life together. So it doesn't matter how long it's taken for you to get to where you are now or what's happened in the past. What matters is now. And they give me a lot of fear. So release fear. I feel that even hearing this and receiving this message is releasing fear within so many of you. So your masculine is saying to you today, I'm going through an ear chakra activation. My ears have been hurting, ringing and burning as I connect with my true self and as my ability to listen with love increases. So your masculine is saying to you, my ears have been hurting a little bit. Maybe he's had an ear infection lately. If he's had something wrong with his ears, something bad, okay, and I say bad because, you know, everything is healed with love. 
But, you know, if he's been through an ear infection or maybe he's had a burst eardrum or he's had a bit of hearing loss or something's been going on like that. I've just got my Twin Flame Ascension Oracle deck here. The ears are because we need to hear the right messages. So when we go through an ear chakra activation, we have that happening to receive the right messages in the right way at the right time. So we're able to listen with love. Any problems we have, such as burning or, you know, like kind of things happening within the ears. So maybe there's some discharge coming out of the ears or a buildup of wax or an infection or a burst eardrum. Those problems arise from not liking what's being heard and the block in my throat chakra. <clears throat> and also when we don't feel heard, you know, you could have blocked eardrum when you don't feel heard. So maybe you've experienced that yourself. But what the masculine is saying is, I don't like what's being heard. So they may be arguing constantly with their karmic partner. It may be driving them a bit mad. And they are healing that so they can listen more to you and be a better lover for you. You know, you may be experiencing this too. So ear pain is a symbol of changes occurring to bring balance in because these are also connected with balance. So you can listen to each other the right way. And the masculines are realizing that it's okay for them to be alone and have this quiet time. Remember, don't get triggered by the silence. It's helping a lot of the time. It's creating the way. So the masculines are realizing it's okay for them to be alone. It's okay for them to make changes in their life and walk away from karmic situations and that they are a good person. And this is really what they need to hear because they feel so much a lot of the time, so much of the time, like a bad person because they feel they've hurt you. They feel they're hurting their karmic partner or, you know, they're hurting the children in some way by you know, staying there or leaving or whatever they're going through and they feel like a bad person and the angel's saying, look, divine masculine, you are a good person. You deserve to be happy. You deserve love in your life and it's okay for you to be alone. So watch your thoughts because you are loved more than you know. Allow that to rise you up and step you into your divine masculine power. So the angels are helping the masculines to become their true self, to step into their divine masculine power. You will love more than you know. And this is also a message for you, Divine Feminine, that your masculine wants you to know today that they love you and that you are loved more than you know, more than you allow yourself to believe. And the masculines are starting to realize that you love them too, that they do actually deserve your love. So they're watching their thoughts and they want to be able to give to you equally. They want to give to you everything you give to them. They want to give to you their generosity, their time, their attention. They want to make it more balanced. And that's why they're going through crazy times right now, tower moments. So your masculine is saying, yes, there's chaos going on and there's things happening, things that may not be what they see. Okay, the angel of dreams. So remember, you're connecting in dreams. I'm going to talk about this in a second. This really resonates with the earlier reading I did for the twin flames. So what your masculine is saying, all the chaos we're going through, all the upheaval, all the separation, everything, is bringing an enlightenment. I'm waking up to the truth of who I am. I'm starting to understand what I need to do. And this also means throwing away anything, not serving them, getting rid of things, showing the karmic partner the door, you know, saying goodbye to the past to be free. And they are communicating with you through telepathy. This came up very clearly in the earlier reading. So the wolves there are a symbol of the way you connect without words it's felt it's experienced through signs synchronicities numbers dreams angel of dreams the moon is reminding you things are not always what they see so look past the physical world and connect with them in a spiritual way through the 5d realm you're connecting when you're dreaming when you're dreaming the masculines are connecting with you and also the divine masculine collective is collectively connecting with you reminding you that anytime you're not together you're being protected that you are safe and what the masculines are doing is they are actually saving you from drama so what he's saying to you is i am coming to you i am already on my way to you i am going to speak my truth but first i need to cut cords with the past i need to release myself from any drama i don't want to drag you into that kind of negative energy or vibration i want to make the effort with you Look how strong he is in this card, you know, he's got his hands up with this sword, he's saying I am fighting for our love, I'm taking the reins of our love back, I'm taking control of my life, I'm doing what I need to do and he's doing this fast, 
He's doing this with speed. You can see that the cape's blowing all over the place. He's riding on a horse or a unicorn or some other, um, other mass, magical, mystical being. He's saying, I'm being guided to you. And I do fear alone, being alone, but you make me feel blessed. So he's saying, even when I fear being alone, even when that holds me back, you make me feel blessed and you make me want to change for the better because I love you. So I'm so sorry about everything that's happened between us. I'm going to reach out soon with a text message. I'm going to reach out soon and show you how I feel. So I feel communication is coming. Some of you are going to receive that communication through a text that comes to your phone. Now remember, a text message isn't always a text message. It's a message with text, so that could be an email. It could be a message through social media. It could be something you read, okay? Something that you read and understand with your ear chakras. But your masculine is saying, I love you and I want to text you and tell you how I feel. I want you to know I'm on my way and I'm doing what I need to do. But if I'm not contacting you just yet, it's because I don't want to drag you into the drama of my chaotic life. I want to deal with that first. So I am communicating with you in dreams. I may even be showing you a text in a dream or showing you I'm going to text you during a dream. This is what's ahead. So during the quiet times, the silence and the chaos as well, the crazy that goes on, the drama, they are receiving enlightenment. So remember, everything is a catalyst to you and everything is moving you towards each other because you, divine feminine, you and only you make your twin feel blessed. And that's why he's making changes. And he's saying to you, no matter what's going on, let me find that card again. My promise to you is that I want to love you for the rest of my life. I hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.